welcome to Sidekicks Direct, your source for the latest news and interviews straight from the Dallas Sidekicks. Help us grow the channel by hitting the subscribe button and being the first to be notified of new content from the team. Now, here's your host, Scott Wegener. All right, welcome into Sidekicks Direct, presented by the U.S. Army. Put yourself in the boots of a soldier in the U.S. Army and take real steps towards becoming a leader while you make a real difference in the world around you. You'll gain leadership skills in one of more than 150 career fields. Find out if you qualify, take a step forward, and become a leader that can make a difference. See yourself in our boots at GoArmy.com slash DFW. If you guys are watching on YouTube, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button down below or on Apple Podcasts, hit subscribe as well. And if you're on Spotify, hit the follow button. I'm so excited now. Our first uh, free agent signing of the 2020-2021 season, and he's joining us now. He is a goalkeeper, played at Turlock last year, two years ago at Tacoma. He is Sonaldo Carvalho. Sonaldo, thanks so much for uh, sitting down and talking with me. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to be here and with you guys. Yeah, we are, we are very excited. Um, so right out of the gate, man, what made you decide on, uh, on signing with Dallas? Well, the tradition of the team, you know, like always being a super good team, so strong names, you know, um, and then look at the past, you know, as a, you guys have uh, always Brazilian guys being successful in the league as a big name, as a tattoo. Um, and a good friend of mine, uh, Sagu, too, who was a goalkeeper. We used to be a very good close friend in Brazil. We used to practice together. And, but this year, uh, actually, after the games that we played there, you know, like we went out to have a dinner. Um, and all my good friends, you know, Ricardinho, Fabinho, you know, all, um, all the guys, you know, Fred Mujin. Uh, we've been talking, you know, like a plane around, you know, like out of nowhere. Like they told me like, hey, so do we know you don't want to play for that long anymore. But before you retire, uh, it's going to be a good man to have you on a team so we can, uh, you know, have fun on the field, you know. So I was like, hey, who knows, you know. And they told me like right away, I know Simon know you. So we're going to talk to them about it. You know, I'm like, hey, I have a contract. I can't talk to anybody yet. But when the league, you know, released the um, the free agent, and then I saw my name there, you know, and then we start talking, and then right away I'm like, you know what, um, it's good to be with a good friend, good people, you know, so why not, you know? Yeah, no, I like that you uh, mentioned Fabinho. I have actually known Fabinho uh, for a long time. I used to go to Milwaukee Wave Camps when he was running – those so he was a camp counselor for me i've been watching him since i was younger and it's it's really cool to actually work alongside him i love fabinho he's such a great guy um and you're right a, a ton of brazilians on the team i don't know if you've had a chance to meet lipe and Kleba, and then there's you know like you said freddie mugin and and more so uh pretty exciting a, a big brazilian connection you're not able to hear me huh shoot let me try this again there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. We're all good again? Yeah. All right. Very cool. A little technical difficulty there. Um, anyway, I was mentioning that I used to, I've known Fabinho for a long time and he's just, it's so fun to be a part of uh, working with him and a lot of Brazilians on the, uh, on the sidekicks. So I, I want to also mention, there's a pretty good goalie that is, is with the sidekicks already. His name is Juan Gamboa. Sidekicks yeah. fans obviously know him. Uh, are you excited to kind of maybe put a little pressure or work with Gamboa? What are you looking forward to? two most with, with having two good established goalkeepers this year with the sidekicks? I am um, the type of person always uh, good with the teammates, you know, like um, my goal is to make, you know, continue to go with a good environment in the locker room. And then, you know, like uh, always I talk to my the other goalkeepers on the team that we have to work hard to be ready. If the coach pick you to play, you know, I'm going to be happy and you know, I'm going to be cheered for the team because, you know, that's as important for the team to have a good goalkeeper or any other good two players for the position. So I think it's a good to have two, go two good goalkeepers and, of course, other players too like to help. So I'm looking forward to work with the team. And then it's like let the coach make a decision, you know, like I'm going to be ready. Um, I hope he's going to be ready too, you know, and we'll look forward to that. Awesome. So 
the sidekicks play a little bit differently. They use their goalie a lot, so you have to be skilled with your feet. Is that something that you feel comfortable with playing the being kind of the the starter of building the offense, the ball at your feet? Yes. Um um, I'm 16 years in this league already. And then I remember the, my first year when I came to Kansas City was a little bit more uh, different style than when they saw me playing you know, out of the back, good foot skills. They just like, hey, we got to change the way we play here because this this guy we can use. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's not a problem at all like to to be out of the back. I actually like to be with the ball a lot, you know, like create the chances for my teammates up front, you know? I know that Simone is going to love hearing that and Jesse and Fabinho because they, they love their goalkeepers being able to control the ball uh, at their feet. So have you had a chance? So you're moving to Dallas, correct? Uh, not because my current situation in California and I coach the uh, junior college here too. And uh, for the first season, I told Simone and Jesse, I would like to try to go, you know, back and forward mm -hmm. day before the game, two days before the game. Uh, but we never know. See how it's going to be, you know, and then see how it's going to end up going to the situation, you know, and then we see. Never know. Maybe there's a chance to move to Dallas next season, you know? <laughs> As somebody who moved from a different city to Dallas, I absolutely love the city. It is it's amazing. The food scene here is incredible. Well, before COVID hit, there was always something really fun to do or a soccer game to go to. Um, so it's, it's really cool. I want to get away from soccer just a little bit here momentarily, and we'll, we'll round back to that near the end. Um, so what is it that you like to do, Sonaldo, outside of soccer? What hobbies do you have that uh, aren't soccer-centric or soccer-related? Um, I really like, you know, like uh, do something with the family. Always enjoy do something with the family. Um, my wife now is like big doing hiking and stuff like that. But myself, I enjoy to be in the beach, you know. So when I'm not in the field and then I have a chance to be in the beach, I love to go. I know Dallas is, we don't have that, but I mean. No, be uh, no beaches here, man. Something that I enjoy too is shopping, you know, like it's, so, it's always as a usual Brazilian guy, you know. Yeah, well, there, I promise you there's plenty of shopping in Dallas and the beaches are definitely uh, lacking here in DFW area. Um, yeah. Who is your favorite soccer player of all time? Um, I'd say a field player, the, the Brazilian Ronaldo. Uh, the okay. Phenomenal. No, so that's the guy that I saw play. It's amazing. You know, he's different, different level. Uh, right? Hey. Got an I'll give it another minute. Hold on, I think I lost you there for a second. We yeah, had something in the background playing. I'm not really sure what it was there. All right, can you hear me again? Hmm. It sounds like something's playing in the background, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. No, no, it's good. Okay, yeah, I don't know what cut out there. I, I all of a sudden heard something that said, like, we have another minute. So, Brazilian Ronaldo is your your favorite field player. Who's the favorite goalkeeper? Tafarel, uh, Brazilian okay. goalkeeper. Tafarel. Yeah. Yeah. Sticking with good. the Brazilians, I like it. What did you think of Ronaldo's uh, triangle haircut that he did? I think that was in either 98 or 2002 where he had the, the weird Ronaldo haircut. That's the most ugly haircut ever, but bring the luck to us and he scores. So can't complain about that, you know? <laughs> no, definitely not. He was on, God, Ronaldo played on some great teams. He played with, was that, was that Real Madrid where it was him? Real Madrid, he played with Zidane. Barcelona. But the Real Madrid team was the yeah. stacked one, right? Where it was him, Zidane. Yeah. Uh, Beckham. Yeah, Beckham. That was the other name I was trying to think of off the top. I can't yeah. believe I forgot Ronaldo. David Beckham. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. So Ronaldo, the 98 World Cup. So the 94 World Cup was in the United States. And that's kind of where I started to fall in love with soccer. I'd always played growing up. But that 98 World Cup, that Brazil team was so much fun. Ronaldo was probably my favorite player to watch growing up as well. So I definitely appreciate that, man. Um, are you a big movie guy? Do you like watching movies? And if so, do you have a favorite movie? Um recently i don't watch that much movie because my time here but mm -hmm. the ones i really love all the time was the low about about season 
I love that movie. Okay. Okay. Uh, what type of music does Sonaldo listen to? What do you listen to? Two different questions. What do you listen to when you're just cruising in the car? And what do you listen to before a game? Um, when I cruise in a car that I want to hear some Brazilian music, okay. it is a type of uh, uh, music of the north of Brazil where I'm from that we call the forró. Okay. And of course, the gospel songs. You know, like I did the challenge long time ago in the car. You know, they have the K Love uh, 30 Days Challenge. Okay. And then, like one day, I'm like, you know what? I like those songs, so I'm gonna do it. And then now, it's impossible to change the radio station. You know. That's awesome. That's super <laughs> so, funny. To go to the game, it's more like the day. You know, like how um, I feel, but when okay. it is more like uh, pop up music. Yeah. But, I mean, to me, to myself, I'm always like a very, at the moment, uh, at the moment that I change in the locker room, it's completely different than all the, as you see off the field, you know, like yeah. off the field, a calm guy, and then going on that mode, the game mode, always I feel pumped up, you know, like to me, it's a pleasure to uh, be able to play soccer and on a high level. Uh, to me, every team that I go, I feel that connection with the fans, you know, like I am one of the fans, the guy who is going to represent the fans, who is going to represent the city. How many of the kids don't want to be on the field where I am in, you know, and then represent the city, represent the fans, you know, so I am always get pumped up, always prepare myself like to be ready to go. That's a great answer, man. You nailed, you nailed that one. Nailed that answer. <laughs> Uh, all right, last question, kind of off the topic of soccer. Soccer. What is your favorite fast food joint? Um, I. Oh well, you guys have you do have in Dallas that one, okay? So my son, my son, get me with that. Which uh, one was it? Chicken, chicken uh, race, race, race. What, what's the name? The raisin canes. Raisin canes. Yeah, yeah. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers. That's the only place, the fast food that I go because of my son. They told me like, oh, this is awesome. You have to try whatever. And I'm like, guys, I don't like fast food. I'm not going to this. Dad, you have to go. You have to go to this place. I went to one time and every time I go to see that they have the, the, uh, the cans that I go, you know, because I, I like it. I really like it. <laughs> so you'll be happy to know then uh, where the sidekicks play right outside of it. I mean, literally across the road, there's a Raisin Cane's right there. Whoa, that's little good. Pre -game, little pregame meal, for, maybe postgame meal, not pregame. Yeah. Maybe, not, maybe not so much deep fried before the, before the yeah, game starts. I know Dallas, we have, uh, after the games, we most of the time go to the Brazilian restaurant there. I cannot change my Brazilian restaurants to go to, to, to the fast food place. <laughs> fair you enough. Know? Fair enough. Fair enough. I got you. I got you. Um, so last year you played with, uh, with Turlock, got into six games there uh, with the Express. What was the experience of playing in Turlock like for you? Turlock, that's my second uh, time that I play a couple games with them. Um, the owner of the Turlock, which was Arturo, Arturo Polito, really good guy, um, you know, like as a person, I really, you know, good friends like for his his personality you know like very honest guy so we always talk we have a good communication with him uh the first time i told him like my situation you know uh, to play and then he told me like hey i trust you don't have to do that much practice or whatever you know like i i know you take care of yourself you know like and the second time i was in brazil uh last year I was in Brazil and then he called me like, hey, Sonaldo, we have a pretty good team here. I haven't heard your name, you know. I heard you don't want to play anymore. I'm like, Arturo, I'm on my vacation. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to play anymore, you know. And he's like, look, how about this? Enjoy your vacation. When you come back, I need to talk to you. I need to, you to come to the practice to see something that's going on right now. So... Uh, I need you to be involved with the team. How about you play a couple of games for us? And then that's, you know, like I, it's close to where I live in Sacramento. And then I told him like, hey, this is a situation where I can, you know, be involved with the team. I went to a couple of practice. I know the guys there and then ended up being like, you know, being playing and uh, 
and it was a good situation to 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 go with them but you know always being trying to do myself like the best for myself to be in shape to in, in like good condition to play you know yeah no i completely understand uh, i want to ask you about your stint in tacoma two years ago one of my one of the best goalies in the MASL, Danny Waltman. What was it like to play with Danny Waltman? And um, I'm sure he learned things from you. I'm sure you learned things from him. What was it like to be a part of the, the Tacoma Stars team a couple of years ago? Uh, it was great, man. Great. Um, I play first time I met Danny. We play in the same team at Detroit Ignition. Okay. You know, he was the backup keeper at that time, you know, starting in the league. And then I was like a couple of years, you know, playing already. Then uh, when he got hurt, Nick contacted me. And Nick told me like, Sonata, this is the situation, you know, like then he got hurt. We don't know how long it's going to take so him to get ready. But I guarantee you a contract where you're going to finish the season with us. And the only specific thing that I want to tell you, and then I respect you always where you go, will you be the starter goalkeeper? But here, uh, we have the situation. Danny, Danny Waltimo is the guy, you know, like, well, we have to respect his history with the team. And whenever he say he is ready, he has to be the starter. And then I told him, like, Nick, I know, I know Danny for, you know, times, you know, and then I know this is his house, you know, uh, the Tacoma is his house. I respect that. I go, I play. Whenever he says he's ready to play, I'll be there to support, you know, and then play. Um, we have some situations in the past, you know, with, uh, when I was young there in Detroit and then it was a good, good time to see him again, to be in the same team and then support him actually become like a, you know, better friends. And then he always likes another man, you know, like I always watch how you play always, you know, I really enjoy watching you play, man. And I'm like, Hey, here is not going to have a problem. This is your house. Uh, it's my time to enjoy and then watch you play, you know. He's like, man, much respect for you, man, you know. He's a good good, good, good guy, good goalkeeper. And then there at Tacoma, it's his house. So it uh, was, was a great experience. Um, before um, with Tacoma, it was good, man, to meet all the good guys there. You know, it's a good environment on the locker room, really good environment on the locker room there. So I really enjoy to spend time with the guys in Tacoma. Yeah, Danny Waltman, I've, I've met him a few times and had the opportunity to chat with him after a couple of games. He's, he's really is a stand-up dude. Uh, I think the thing that we can take away as Sidekicks fans from that is you come in with, without a huge ego, which is very – it's refreshing to, to see that from a, an established veteran who's been around as long as you have, that you, you understand, um, you know, your role and what it is you're doing. And I, I think that's very refreshing, man, and we appreciate your candor and honesty uh, with that. Before I let you go and get back to your day – uh, I, I wanted to say it was, first off, it was an absolute pleasure sitting down and, and learning a little bit more about you, uh, and, and kind of telling us your story as well. Is there anything you've got for sidekicks fans, uh, that are going to be watching and listening to this here in the, uh, in the upcoming days that you'd like to say to sidekicks nation? Well, something that at first, that's a fun, fun part. Okay. To tell you guys something, I don't know if it was you or the other announcer of the game. I don't know who was, but, um, I watched the highlights of one game. I think I was playing in Tacoma. And uh, he, the, the commentary, like after every save, you know, like uh, how I go, you know, like, uh, you know, in Brazil, we go like a do, like, little vibration, like, yeah, you know? Yeah. So the commentator said on one of the highlights, say, I don't think this goalkeeper really uh, has a lot of confidence on himself because every <laughs> save, he celebrate like a goal, you know? So after that, you know, so all my teammates to start making fun, you know, like, hey, man, don't celebrate too much because you, you're you going to learn more, you know, during the season, <laughs> you, know? you know. But um, go back to the serious side here. Um, I like to say to the fans, you know, like it's been my pleasure to defend the green collar, you know, like the sidekicks, the sidekicks. Um, like always, when I play against you guys, you know, it's a lot of respect for the name of the team, for the organization. And then now you guys with the good guys of Simone and Jesse and be, be part of the team now with the big name of the league. Uh, it's my pleasure. Like I say in the beginning of the interview, like uh, 
I'm going to do my best to represent each one of you guys of the City of Dallas and the Sidekicks fans. I'm going to do my best to represent you guys on the field. That's what I have to. <laughs> nailed it, man. Again, you're, you're, you nailed these questions. You knocked it out of the park. So although I'm, I'm really excited to, to get you to Dallas, I'm excited to meet you in person. And I, again, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and chat with me here today on Sidekicks Direct. Sidekicks Direct presented by the U.S. Army. Put yourself in the boots of a soldier in the U.S. Army and take real steps towards becoming a leader while you make a difference in the world around you. You'll gain leadership skills in one of more than 150 career fields. Find out if you qualify, take a step forward, and become a leader that can make a difference. See yourself in our boots at GoArmy.com slash DFW. Sidekicks fans, we appreciate you uh, tuning in, taking a, taking a listen, and, and meeting the newest signing, the first free agent signing of the – 2020 2021 season for the Dallas Sidekicks. It is goalkeeper Sonaldo Carvalho. Sonaldo, appreciate you taking the time, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome.